We have three inequalities that we have to graph using the number line shown below. The first inequality that we are going to graph is x is less than negative 1. First, we have to locate negative 1 on our number line, which is located right here. And when you locate that number, you have to draw a circle directly over that number. The next thing we have to do is draw an arrow to show where all the values are located on the number line that are in fact less than negative 1. And we would say all numbers moving in this direction of our number line are less than negative 1. Now notice that we did not shade in the circle that we drew directly above negative 1. And that's because negative 1 is not included as a possible solution for this inequality. For example, if we plug negative 1 into x here, negative 1 is not less than negative 1. Therefore, we cannot include it as a possible solution. Now let's graph the inequality x is greater than negative 2. First, we locate negative 2 on our number line and draw an open circle directly above negative 2. And then we're going to draw an arrow moving to the right on our number line because this is the part of the number line where all values are greater than negative 2. This graph really just means that the value of x can be any number that we want to as long as that value is greater than negative 2. Next, we are going to graph the inequality x is greater than or equal to negative 3. First, we locate negative 3 on our number line and draw a circle directly above negative 3. But this time, we have to shade in our circle. Because the inequality states that x has to be greater than negative 3 or equal to negative 3, that means negative 3 is a possible solution to this inequality. And we still must draw an arrow moving to the right of negative 3 because that's where all of the values are greater than negative 3 on the number line. One thing that might help you remember which way to draw the arrow when graphing inequalities is this. If you take a look at the inequality symbol, it kind of looks like an arrow. For example, it looks like this inequality symbol is pointing to the right. So when graphing your inequality, the arrow on your number line also must be pointing to the right. When we had the less than symbol right here, it looks like an arrow that's pointing to the left. So when you graph this inequality, the arrow that you draw on the number line must also be pointing to the left. But keep in mind, this only works when your inequality has an x on the left hand side of your inequality sign. So remember, when graphing inequalities, whenever you have a greater than or less than symbol, you have to make sure that your circle is an open circle and not shaded in. And whenever using a greater than or equal to symbol, or a less than or equal to symbol, you have to make sure that the circle you use on your number line is a shaded in circle. 